Okay, well, thank you very much for the time here. Um, um, a little bit about me. I am a, a business consultant for many years. I like to do um, uh, business improvements, uh, operations, simplifications, many things related to that. But this time I'm going to be talking about how um, small business owners and medium-sized business owners can, can leverage uh, this new cutting edge technology. I think this is really amazing. This is something that is really um, keeping my interest in terms of how this is evolving and becoming more uh, accessible for many companies. Um, let's just start with the problem, uh, the recipe management. Uh, and this is more from the uh, small business perspective, uh, where as far as I have been interacting with uh, many of my uh, new clients, uh, many of them are concerned about uh, the lack of time for uh, transcripting their recipes, either from uh, some PDF, some uh, pictures, some notes from grandma or, or, or something like that. But it's complicated to manage that information in a way that can be suitable to be implemented in a, in a solution, in a restaurant uh, system, a system that can help them to manage their cafeteria, their, their food truck or, or something. Uh, there's no time for that. That's, that's complicated, uh, especially if, if you sometimes need to do other things like, uh, what about um, uh, ingredients are changing? Uh, you are trying to create some specific uh, dish or, or, or flavor, et cetera, and then you realize that prices are changing and you need to modify your recipes. You need to update your information. And uh, in many cases, you don't have the bandwidth, you don't have the people, you don't have the budget to do anything about that. And uh, in um, many cases, you're, uh, documents uh, start becoming obsolete. In a few cases, people like to use the regular Excel files, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Google Docs, uh, you name it, uh, to keep up to date with whatever um, information they can have. But uh, when, when they want to move into a more sophisticated world like uh, an ERP system, for example, um, Everybody thinks this is complex. Uh, it's a little more expensive and they, they don't have the expertise, especially because uh, what I understand from the uh, from any system implementation, the project takes a lot of time and a lot of resources. And this is what is keeping many companies, especially small companies, um, away from more digital. So, um, and but uh, what, what many of these users would like to be doing is um, they, they are passionate about what they do. They want to have the time to dedicate uh, themselves into improving recipes, improving dishes, uh, delighting their customers. They would like to have a system, but they don't have the time for managing th that system. They don't have the time to do it in a way that is uh, uh, a time consuming task. So, um, what, what is the project? What is the, 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 the solution here? And thanks to this um, um, recent program that I have been uh, participating at, at here with uh, uh, for brain I realized that it's not a big deal uh, using the um, uh, LLMs. Uh, it's, it's more, it is becoming more and more obvious, more intuitive to use uh, and, and to help put it into uh, words so you can solve many problems. For example, this is a high level view of the solution. And the, the intention of this chart is to present it to a small business owner, meaning like in one side, you will have all your different recipes. It could be pictures, it could be notes, it could be um, uh, uh, photocopies, whatever, where you store all your data. But we, we need to put that into the red box, the ARP system. Well, in the middle, in between, we can use a, uh, an LLM model that can help us to do this chat completion. And by completion, we can understand like, uh, in some cases, your information may not be accurate, may not be complete, may be lacking of something, maybe was not written carefully. Uh, some of the uh, units of measure may not be um, uh, fully explained in the recipe. So these models can be trained in a way that can review what you have, 
and then provide you with a clean and nice output that you can feed to your um, API, API easily. Uh, for example, another challenge that I see, um, especially here in, in, in California, certain um, owners like to have uh, uh, restaurants serving food in, uh, in the area of San Diego, for example, but they like to have this, you know, bilingual menus, but is that too much to ask? Like, um, having the, the menu in English is one thing, having the menu with the ingredients in Spanish, that's probably for the next phase. <laughs> so the, it's, it's complicated. And if these models can help us to do the completion, voila, we have a very, very good uh, solution for, for the users. So uh, let me just uh, start on the demo time to show you what I was able to build in just one week of just reviewing the exercises, understanding how this works. And, and this is what I have. Um, so I was able to create this um, um, model that can take a file. Um, and um, once I, I, I provided the PDF file, um, the system is able to re re report back to me a JSON file with everything that I asked for. I have the name of the recipe, the servings, for example, here, you see what, what I'm just asking uh, to this model, the preparation time, cooking time. One thing that was very uh, interesting for me was that uh, in some certain cases, the recipes that I was using uh, for testing my model do not have the total time, the completion time. So the model is taking these inputs and, make, and calculating the time for me. Uh, there's also uh, a section to say, okay, these are the different ingredients uh, and the, the quantity for each ingredient. So I can put this back to an ERP very quickly. And if I want to have this version, for example, let's say number 13 uh, item uh, called fillet. If I want to see this in a different language like Spanish, we can see the translation already here, 13. Piletes de Bacalao already here. And I only have to provide the, this PDF to the system. And let me just do this demo. Uh, it's going to take some time, but as, as, as I continue talking, I probably would be able to show you how this is. Okay, this is the PDF file. It will start working. It normally takes a minute per recipe. Uh, hopefully it's over. Uh, but uh, while we wait for this one, let me show you another, another thing I was able to build. I was, and uh, this is the recipe, the, the Baja fish taco that I just put to the, this system, right? Um, one thing that I was able to, to test is, um, let, me, let me just uh, close this thing. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. I was able to create my questions here. And in my questions, I was able to say, okay, I want everything back in JSON format. I want the specific key uh, or, or, or um, um, uh, yeah, the, the specific columns for my uh, files, like cooking time, brewing time, cooling time, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and then I was able to do this in a, in a batch process. So as a batch process, I was able to review 10, 20, 50 recipes in one single shot. Uh, so I can understand the, the, the processing time, the specific names, I can have the recipes and I was able to collect 104, in this case, uh, different ingredients to prepare my shopping list um, very quickly. And if I need to change something, I have new recipes, et cetera, I just provide this to the system and the system creates everything to me or for me, excuse me. These are the different instructions, the steps um, and the last step is the nodes. So hopefully by this time, the, the model is over, not still working, but what I, am, oh yeah, it's over now, finally. And this is basically because of the amount of work that these models are getting right now, but uh, with a little patience and uh, just fine tuning your model, I know you can do something very, very 